Greetings and shalom, my blessed brothers and sisters, your brother, Elder T. Haman the Hebrew, signing in for the nation of Yashra'ala, tribe of Judah, 12 tribes of the 12 tribes. Um, just wanted to just stop in this morning and uh, share with you and encourage you just, just back from the gym early morning workout and um, got a good word that i like to just share with the, with the brethren and the sisters uh, concerning uh, taking care of your animals. Uh, obviously, we're here in the morning before the Sabbath. It's probably about, take a look here, about 10.09 a.m. I haven't sent the word out to the brethren and the sisters. We've got a part in this airplane flying over right now, so you're going to hear a lot of noise. Going to this airplane. As I was saying, just got back from the gym, uh, doing a morning workout, and uh, I'm back here now, I'm ready to take care of the, I call them the funky pits, this is uh, Samson, I don't know if you can see him in the camera, he's a, it's about a year and a half old, uh, blue bully, and it's very, very, very calm, and it's a very, very loving dog. Um, we have Sapphire over here, Sappy. Yeah. We've got Sapphire. This is our old girl. She's about um, she's about ten and a half now, close to eleven years old. She's an older dog, and um, she's just a, a pit bull blue. And um, we got him about about a little over a year ago because her big friend, or I would say, how would you say it, her? Her best friend, Tango, passed away after we had him for about 13 years. And so we had to get her a friend. And so that's where we got him, the newest member, addition of our family. So I want to go into the scriptures. And brothers and sisters, I don't know if you've ever done this, but it is such a blessing when you read the word of the Most High, even to your animals. I think that they know this is the living word of the Most High. And um, in specific, I wanted to show you all. Come on, buddy. Sit down. I wanted to show you all um, how the scripture talks about. We're going to go to the book of Proverbs in a quick word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day that you have created. As surely as the sun shines upon us, you are good, Heavenly Father, to both the righteous and the unrighteous. You make it for your sun to shine down on us. You give us an opportunity. We have our being and existence in you. I give you thanks, praise, worship, and honor and glory for it. I ask that, Father, you would magnify your word. May someone be encouraged and uplifted and empowered in the faith today and always. May they be renewed in their mind and their spirit, Heavenly Father. I ask that you would bless your word, Heavenly Father. Uh, Father, I ask you in the name of your shy to bind every unclean spirit from trying to distract or hinder your people from hearing your word and getting the increase that you have sent your word to them and that you have intended your word to prosper them in the way and keep them walking on the path of everlasting righteousness for your blessed name's sake. I, play, I pray, Heavenly Father, for the nation of Israel as well as the healing of the nations most high and those that, that call on Yeshua as their Lord and Savior. And I ask that you would just bless and magnify your word, give us understanding and edification. In the precious and blessed name of Yeshua, I pray all these things. Okay, brothers and sisters, so I'm in Proverbs chapter 12. I notice how the page just flipped on me here. I was just saying a word of prayer. And the sun is shining brighter and brighter. And like I mentioned to you, it's the morning just before the Sabbath. But it says, um, Proverbs 12, a good man obtains good favor. Whoso loveth instruction loveth knowledge, but he that hateth reproof is brutish. Verse 2, a good man obtaineth favor of the Most High, but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. Verse 3, a man should not be established by wickedness, but the root of the righteous should never be moved. Verse 4. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, but she that maketh a shame is as rottenness in his bones. Verse 5. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsel of the wicked are deceit. Verse 6. The words of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright should deliver them. Verse 7. The wicked are overthrown and are not 
but the house of the righteous shall stand. Verse 8, a man shall be condemned according to his wisdom. Excuse me, verse 8, let me read that again. A man shall be commended according to his wisdom, but he that is of a perverse heart shall be despised. Verse 9, he that is despised and have a servant is better than he that honoreth himself and lack of bread. Verse 10, a righteous man, okay, here comes this plane again. I don't have to wait for this plane to go by, it's very, very distracting. Sorry about that, brothers and sisters. This, 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 plane, this plane passes so that you may be all able to, to hear me. And then uh, so you get to see me uh, give the dogs their food. And um, it's a lot of work that I have to do today as well, getting prepared for the, you know, this, this big lesson and uh, you know, the Shabbat being on its way. Okay, verse 10, a righteous man regardeth the life... I'm sorry, verse 9. He that despiseth, he that is despised and have a servant is better than he that honoreth himself and lacketh bread. Verse 10. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast or his animals, the animals that he cares for in his care. But the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. In verse 11. He that tilleth his land should be satisfied with bread. But he that followeth vain persons is void of understanding. Alright? So, with the emphasis, I wanted to just really emphasize on Proverbs 12 and 10. And let me get it for you. I'm going to bring it to the camera so you can see this here. No, you can't see that that way. Let me put it down this way, maybe. There it is. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast. Right? But the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. And again, that's Proverbs 12 and 10. So as you see, you may not can't see that good here. I'm getting ready to feed... Uh, Samson and Sapphire give them some some nice cold water and let them run around in the backyard. Rain time. You don't have to have that if you don't want to. Are you hungry? You want some shot? Oh, yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Juicy. We got some nice, juicy, uh, what you call some gravy train. Make it all juicy for them. These two, as you can imagine, I'm feeding them. 
um, I have to watch them because over food, they uh, they're not aggressive towards towards us, but there's people, but they are pretty territorial when it comes to eating, and there's an order how they eat. So he wants to eat first, and then she eats next. But yeah, this this boy is he still growing? He's gonna be a big dog. He's he's about 80 pounds now. I'm thinking that he probably most high willing get up to about 95, 100 pounds once he begins to, to fill out. Hey there, buddy. Yeah. Thank you, most high. Yeah. Yeah, she feed you, baby. Huh? Oh yeah. That's so good, isn't it? Oh, it's so good, isn't it? Look at you. Look at you. Just look at you. Just just slobbering everywhere, huh? Yum, yum, yum. So yeah, brothers and sisters, uh, I'm gonna sign out. Like I said, I got some work to do, I'm doing some music, and put some new music up here for this evening for the Shabbat. And uh, brothers and sisters, be encouraged, be uplifted, and empowered in the faith. I mean, holy days coming right up, back to back all this month. So it's definitely something for us to be excited. I'm gonna say Kwam Yashwala, keep the faith. Salah and armor up.